We've all been going to Cancun for 40 years, to the same place at the same time. None of us, to our knowledge, ever traded our week at the Royal Cancun for any other place. It's a second home to us all. That's what Aramis, our bellman, says the moment he sees any of us. Mr. and Mrs. Gorman, welcome home. And he means every word. Charlie and Shirley were pioneers of the Cancun vacation, along with Russ and Alice Madden, Ken and Eileen McDonald, and Marilyn's mother, Laura Jean Murray. They were among the first to recognize the potential of many years of fun there. And now, fully three generations of our families have come to appreciate their foresight. The Cancun season often began with a prank. About four weeks prior to departure, I would call Shirley and in my best Mexican accent, sadly tell her that her check had bounced or that it had not been received. And unfortunately, they would not be allowed to come that year. Shirley would vehemently protest that no such thing had occurred. And sooner or later, she would hang up on me. Early morning tennis in Cancun with Charlie and Shirley was a staple of our lives. We reserved the same court, number three, for the first appointment every day. Russ and Ken also played with us. We would be there playing in the Cancun heat with a hot morning sun in our eyes, the big Mexican buses screeching to a stop just outside the courts, the parrots and the other birds squawking in the trees. With a slow march of time, our various aging debilities caused us to stop a few years ago, but oh, we had a great run. Afternoons were spent at the beach, just watching whatever was going on and soaking up the atmosphere. Shirley would sip her limonada, sigh blissfully, and say, I just love it here. In fact, she said it almost every day. Later, as the years passed, Charlie and Shirley succumbed to the siren song of the resorts and bought a second week of timeshare in the newest and most exciting of the royal resorts, the Royal Sands. We all accused them of moving uptown to Camelot, and while we were relentless about it, they were always good-spirited as they invited us again and again in mass over to their condo Sometimes to play tennis, sometimes to the beach, but always for a good time. It's a most beautiful resort, and while we think they missed us, they always look forward to that second week. Since the condo was larger, they could have more Gormans in Cancun. And as Charlie often proclaimed, you can never have too many Gormans. Shirley usually followed that comment with one of her famous Oh, Charlie! Shirley had a wonderful sense of humor, a real zest for life. She was never at loss for a smile or a kind word. She would always host a large group of Cancun friends for dinner at her condo, and she made everyone feel most welcome. We all looked forward to her party because it was a highlight of our weeks there. A fun memory was the time that Shirley's luggage was somehow left in their foyer in Hendersonville, and Charlie received full blame. After all, his suitcase made the trip just fine. All the ladies pitched in with clothes to help Shirley through the week. Some of the clothes looked a little big on her, but it all worked out. Laughingly, she never let him forget it. And of course, neither did we. Then there was the year Charlie and I went diving. I thought all would be fine as Charlie had his dive card, but Charlie ran out of air quite early and had to buddy breathe with the instructor during our final safety stop. When we heard him retelling the story later to, Char uh, to Shirley, well, let's say that Charlie was never able to dive again. Shirley had lost his certification card and likely with good reason. When Marilyn and I spent a whole year in Cancun, Shirley and Charlie came down and spent time with us. 
it was our pleasure to have them 100% to ourselves. We went shopping at local markets, drove to unusual and remote places, bought spam for Shirley to fix for Charlie, went swimming in the midst of the sea turtles in the Bay of Akumal, enjoyed many margaritas, and even ate fried grasshoppers. Shirley was up for anything. We had a wonderful time visiting Shirley and Charlie on their home turf in Hendersonville. Shirley was a super tour guide. As we drove all around the area, she knew so many people and so much history of the town. She was very proud, and rightfully so, of her Featherstone family being practically the first family to settle in the area. We were fortunate, privileged, and downright lucky to have found such good friends. Over the years, we learned all about each other's family and vicariously participated in their activities. Shirley was so very proud of each and every one of her children and grandchildren. She loved to brag about what you all were doing. She was fully engaged and got such pleasure from all of you. She carried you close to her heart. I believe Shirley has left to investigate new possibilities for us all. We will all get there in the course of time. I expect that she will be at the door, greeting each one of us with her captivating smile and a kind word, again making each one of us feel completely at home.